lady here. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'll start out by saying thank you for coming and uh, helping us get the message and out to the public and the community about this weekend's festivities surrounding Cinco de Mayo. Um, typically, part of uh, the celebration includes people congregating and cruising up and down Federal Boulevard. And uh, that's where I uh, come into play as far as responsibility goes. And um, what we're trying to do is just get the message out to the public and the community that, uh, you know, that uh, public safety is, is going to be one of the things that is foremost on our minds. Um, we have, as far as the traffic plan goes this weekend, uh, as traffic begins to build, which often it does with the cruising up on Federal Boulevard, typically late afternoon, evening into the night hours, uh, we're going to have officers specifically dedicated towards enforcement on Federal Boulevard. That means they're not going to be responsible for any radio calls, anything like that, um, that doesn't include what's going on on Federal. And uh, our traffic plan, uh, essentially what happens is uh, those officers are up there, they're um, you know, just overseeing uh, the traffic flow, managing the traffic flow, looking for violations that uh, are specifically going to affect public safety. Um, we have three phases in our traffic plan. The first phase is, is just normal uh, traffic flow. Like I said, the officers will be out there looking for uh, public safety violations. Uh, if we go to phase two, typically what that means is we begin to shut down some of the side streets. If we see traffic beginning to affect uh, neighborhoods uh, with congestion, that sort of thing. Uh, if we go to phase three, what that's going to uh, entail is a total diversion of traffic. If uh, you know conditions get so bad, traffic conditions get so bad that we're no longer able to manage it, uh, something happens that you know, we feel that's a threat to public safety, we will divert traffic completely off of Federal Boulevard and, and clear that out as much as we can. When you say on that phase three, when you say divert, is, does that mean uh, like access uh, from points off the I-25? Yeah, so typically what happens in, in a diversion then, we'll close down every side street um, from typically Florida up into Sixth Avenue and divert traffic from that point on to Sixth Avenue. It has happened, not recently though, I, and I, I couldn't even tell you uh, the last time we had to actually go to a full diversion uh, with traffic, but, uh, but it hasn't happened for a while. Has it happened for Cinco de Mayo festivities or for another situation? It has happened previously in the past for Cinco de Mayo festivities, yeah. What are you guys anticipating for this, this, this um, celebration? Um, as far as Federal Boulevard goes, a lot of traffic, a lot of congestion. Uh, again, it's a big draw up there, and um, uh, you know certainly we want people to to be safe and in, enjoy their weekend. Uh, but like I said, we're going to be looking for things, violations that really affect public safety. Careless, reckless driving, uh, street racing is something that uh, we've had a problem and has been an issue with on federal. Uh, so those types of things. Uh, noise violations. We have to be mindful of the community. There, are, there are residents that, you know, do live along Federal Boulevard that are affected by it. So, um, anything, uh, as I said, connected with public safety, noise, that sort of thing, we're going to be concentrating on. What about curfew type issues? Yeah, and, and curfew is, is something that obviously over the weekend will happen after midnight, um, but uh, typically. By that time, uh, most of the activity up and down Federal Boulevard, uh, the amount of congestion, the volume has uh, subsided significantly by then. What's the driving public? What can they expect uh, over the weekend? Traffic delays, especially up on Federal Boulevard and uh, some of those arterials that, uh, you know, they cross Federal. Um, of course, downtown, there's the Civic Center Park event uh, that is going to happen, so I think there's going to be uh, you know, a certain amount of traffic congestion down here as well. Would you advise people just to avoid that area if they're, if they, if they're not part of the celebration? I wouldn't say avoid it. I would just say be prepared for it. So like delays, like crawling traffic perhaps? I think it depends on, you know, where you're going and the route that you're taking. You know, if you're up on federal and you're trying to get from, you know, one point to another that is is part of that, you know, cruising zone that we typically see, which essentially, again, it's uh, 
federal on Federal Boulevard, typically from Florida up to Sixth Avenue, you may want to find another route because it will be delayed. And uh, in terms of the increase, there will be an increase in the officers there, right? Yes, yes, we do increase our our uh, allocation of police officers over the weekend. What's been the experience the last couple of years with this? Been able, you haven't had to go to option. We have time. not. You know, it's been it's been a manageable situation uh, up on federal, and um, you know, no significant uh, events, incidents that have happened. So it, it's the last few years, at least, it's been uh, it's been good. And do you think it's important to say that you haven't said or you want to be agreed? No, I don't think so. <laughs> With regards to where the uh, side streets are closed, will uh, local residents have access? Typically, the local residents know how to get to their place other than trying to get it up on to it from federal. So uh, there will, for those residents that live up and down federal, there's going to be uh, alternative routes to get into their residence other than federal. It'll be a weekend long event. We anticipate, uh, you know, at least, uh, you know, the activity um, up on Federal Boulevard related to the cruising. We anticipate that to start sometime Friday afternoon. And I think we'll continue that uh, to see that all the way through the weekend through Sunday evening. So will law enforcement be increased all weekend long? We will have uh, officers in place all weekend, all three nights. When you talked a little bit about the, the, that noise issue, how is that enforced? Is it like a, a decibel reading? Or? It is a decibel reading in, in some cases. Um, you know, loud music, excessive honking, that sort of thing. Uh, but it does coincide with the decibel levels. And that really becomes a factor late later on or dur during the whole thing? Or? Yeah, typically I think we see that later on in the evening hours, yeah. nighttime hours. You know, and for us, it's it's uh, you know getting into hours that really affect again the community surrounding Federal Boulevard, the residential community. Yeah, you hear it from the neighborhoods. So it's, it's yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely, that's one of the things we'll be concentrating and focusing on this weekend is is driving under the influence, both drugs and alcohol. Any messages that you would deliver to people who want to come and cruise? Just Have fun, but most importantly, do it in a safe manner.